Hello all, let me present you another low cost single board computer or SVC, which is having 4GB of RAM, wall winner 64 bit Cortex A53 quad core processor, clock speed up to 1.5 GHz, it is Orange Pi 03, it has dual band Wi Fi, that means we can use both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. It also comes with Bluetooth 5.0. It is really low cost and it is around $35 only. Before preparing our hardware, let's download the operating system. So let's search Orange Pi 03 and open the first link. You will get all the details about this small computer. But let's go to downloads now. Then let's scroll down to the official images section and I'll go for Ubuntu. This will basically open up Google Drive link. I'll go for the latest kernel version and also I'll go for the latest desktop version which will also have the graphical interface. Download that particular file. Click on download anyway. This is in 7G format and you need to extract this after downloading. After some time my file is downloaded. Let's open the folder. You will need a tool like Balena 8char or Rofus or something to load the image on your SD card. I will use Balena which is really simple and easy to use. Click on flash from file. Choose the image file. Oh my bad. I need to extract the file first. I am using 7zip tool. You may use anything else. After it is extracted, let's do the process again. Choose the .img file. Then let's insert the SD card reader with micro SD card inserted. Now from Balena HR, choose the drive. Then simply click on flash and wait for the operation to complete. Flashing is done and we can remove the drive safely. I have inserted the SD card in the card slot. Now let's talk about the connectors. It has a micro HDMI connector, a USB Type-C power input, a USB 2.0 port and a gigabit RJ45 LAN port. It has an antenna which is for your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It is detachable. I have a few heat sinks. I'll put those on the top of CPU, RAM, Wi-Fi chip. Now that's done. What other components are needed? We need a micro HDMI to standard HDMI converter or a cable. A micro SD card with card reader to load the operating system from a computer. A USB-C power cable with power adapter. HDMI cable if we are using a micro HDMI converter. But this setup is having some problem which I'll solve little bit later. And the problem is the connector space and I think the design is bad. We can't use a micro HDMI connector and Type-C cable at the same time as you see. To solve this problem I have purchased a micro HDMI to standard HDMI cable and let's see. Now I have connected the Type-C cable and let's insert the micro HDMI cable and now it looks fine. Now let me power on the board or this computer. Let me attach my wireless USB adapter for my mini keyboard. And the boot screen looks like this. Let's wait for everything to be loaded up. And here we go. This is the main desktop screen. Let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. Go to available networks. Choose your Wi-Fi name. Then enter your password. Now the Wi-Fi is connected, let's go to applications and let's launch the web browser. It is using Firefox browser and let's try to open any website. Internet works fine here. Let's just have a look at the Linux terminal also. All looks good. Thanks for staying till the end and let's catch up in some next amazing topics. Stay tuned.